Hi everyone, welcome to my video today on the swing mechanics. So obviously this is a massive part of the game. Um, to have a good swing is vital on the forehand and backhand side and obviously there's many different ways uh, and areas of the court where you, where you will be using the swing but I just want to break it down to the real basics today um, and to discuss a little bit about what is a swing motion, what is the movement, how do you manage to get the most efficient and best swing motion from your body. Um, as a coach, I'm pretty holistic. I look at the body as a whole. So how are each area of the body working together to get success in what you're trying to achieve? So today's focus is on the swing, as I mentioned, and we're actually gonna really be discussing a lot about left and right arm. So I'm a right-handed player. I will do some demonstrations with left hand as well. Um, obviously my coordination on that side is not quite as good as on my right, but I'll give it a good go. Maybe to feel like some of you back at home that are practicing. So the right and left arm, okay? This is a massive thing in, in good movement to be able to have a good balance between the left side and the right. If you want to be an efficient and effective mover, and bearing in mind we are moving our body right now to make the swing motion, you need to have a good coordination between both sides. Now, a lot of you will have heard coaching techniques like rack it up, get your racket back, these kind of things, and that would be quite focused dominant on, on my right side only. But my left arm and the left side of my body is gonna bring a different kind of balance and support to my swing, okay? so. One thing to start thinking about, are you swinging in the right way? What is a swing motion? So it's actually a rotational movement from the whole of your upper body. Do not isolate it just to your wrist or your arm. You're gonna be using your whole torso to rotate and how that then brings into this nice fluid ease of motion, which in a minute, as I will show, will give you more of a smooth swing and more velocity and speed in your swing if you want to. And that's what generates more power and momentum over the ball. Now, as I'm starting doing this motion here, look at what's happening with my left arm. So when you prepare your racket, like I said, a lot of coaches are talking about rack it up, get your racket there. I like to think of it as it will be up. So you will lift from your fingers and the racket will come up, but it's also gonna be back, okay? Now, when I'm in this starting position with my racket back, nicely prepared for my swing, there's a certain amount of weight here, okay? It might be light, this is a 125 gram racket or something, but there's still a lot of balance and support required. So firstly, I will make sure I have enough connection in my fingers to support that and not have this nice, uh, not so nice, sorry, floppy racket. I'm gonna keep hold of it nice and stable there. So now that here's my right arm's prepared, but to bring extra balance and support to that racket and my right side, my left arm, is gonna extend out in front of me like this, okay? Now one good reference I give to my um, students is if you need to get more activity from the brain towards this left side, because you might just be so focused on the racket because this is obviously the part which is gonna hit the ball, think about maybe pointing your left arm towards the ball, you know? Give it a purpose, give it an intention, okay? So as you prepare your right arm, the left arm will reach out and point towards where that ball is. Another great thing that this does is it helps keep space and distance. So like stay away, stay away, because that distance from the ball is really, really important. And that distance needs to be a comfortable step and an arm's length from your body. So this preparation is racket, right arm comes back and you see my left arm extends in front of me. So I've got one, two. There's a synchronicity between my left and right arm. This supporting the other, you know? So the racket comes up, the left arm's out in front of me. I'm now not gonna be succumbed to leaning backwards or losing balance. It also means that I can bring the rotational aspect in, like I mentioned at the very beginning where I'm rotating my torso. Now as we gradually come round to this forehand side here, we can get a side on view and actually show you what that should look like. I like to describe the left arm as sort of the trigger arm. So as we're getting into this Rotational movement, I bring the left side of my body round with that left arm, it's pointing towards the ball, keeping that space and distance, and my right arm and racket has come back here to be nice and supported and strong and balanced, okay? Now that left arm is gonna be like my trigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna relax this left side down, 
a left arm down at my left side, sorry, and as I then swing, my right arm comes through. Now look at the torsion in my upper body. This allows this natural thoracic rotation in the top part of my spine, right from the core, and allows that rotational movement. Now if I wanna go quicker, I'm just releasing that left side, that trigger hand, and my right arm is just following through. Now, I'm talking to you whilst doing this because it's not stressful motion. I'm breathing nice and easy and relaxed, but I'm getting a lot of speed on my racket head through the ball so that I can generate the amount of momentum or power that I want. The more I grip, the more fixed that left arm becomes. You can see how now it's pulling my body out of position because I'm keeping my left arm there. But by just releasing that trigger side, the left hand, like I said, now look at my shoulders, look at my chest, and look at how that racket head comes straight through. Okay? It's one synchronized movement. Left releases, right follows through. So, how do we then get that on the backhand side? So if you come over to this side with me, I'm now gonna turn over onto my backhand side. You take some similar principles, the left and right arm still really, really important, okay? Now I'm still gonna get this rotational movement, so now my right shoulder is coming more round towards this side wall, and I'm just gonna pull my left arm through here. I've got this slight crossing of arms, I would say. You keep enough breathing space between your racket and hands so that you're not getting too cramped in here and also you don't want to be getting too jammed up with your own with your left and right hand here okay but start to rotate the shoulder the left arm is nice and connected here and now what happens is as you swing forwards with the right arm and you pull that elbow and shoulder through the left arm now goes backwards so it's now giving a counterbalance and supporting you from over rotating or losing form here okay so now rotate, swing forwards with the right, and extend with the left. You're gonna take that nice flying motion with some kids I described to them. Come on kids, you're gonna fly, yeah? You know, you're gonna really open up there, really positive with that right and left arm going the opposite directions, bringing balance and good form to the rest of the body. If I was a left-hander, this would be my forehand side. So now my right arm's out. I might step forwards with my right leg here, but left would also be fine. And again, more concentration for me now, not being a left-hander. I release my right, and the left comes through. One, two, one, two. If we again go around to the other side, to the left-hander's backhand, coming around into this position, my left shoulder, elbow now coming back in the opposite way. Same principles. Feeling enough connection between the right and left side. Left arm forwards, right arm back. It's also good for me to practice this because this is definitely not the most natural swing for me on this way around. Good, so that's the basic concepts of how to get a good swing motion, save yourself energy, gain more power, be more in balance and what is a swing motion? It is a rotational movement. So make sure you're getting that from your body by coordinating the left and right side and being relaxed enough to allow that movement to happen in the first place. Okay, we're gonna have a few more videos on this and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.